Hey my Scorpios, how are you? If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all the messages I post each month. Um, I just posted some thinking out loud videos today and a get ready video with me so I thought come on give them what they actually subscribe to the channel for. Um, disruption here Scorpio so maybe not feeling aligned at the moment feeling like there's some somebody might be trying to disrupt your peace and your life here maybe some exes returning here wanting in um, it seems you've got your guard up though here with this disruption okay yeah I just thought let me give you guys what you actually come for right <laughs> And of course, I'll leave information about what decks of cards I'm using in the description box. So feel free uh, to email me, contact me for personal readings, things like that. Okay, we have accelerated motion here. Okay, so um, <clears throat> I feel like, you know, when we're accelerating, people are always trying to hold us back, right? Um, so I feel like the disrupt this disruption is either not unheard of or it's like ex expected by you here be careful when we're expecting things as well we can kind of manifest it um you're heading in the direction and when that happens people try and hold you back it does you can find people being challenging you right now wanting to cause arguments disruptions in your life try and make things harder for you because it is uncomfortable when um people are ascending um for people who want to remain the same it's uncomfortable for them you're getting this positive movement forward and look can you see it's card 16 and 8 so it's like they're trying to bring you back it, but it's showing how much growth you actually had here that it's uncomfortable for people i mean that's for them to deal with right um if they're uncomfortable and of course if you're a cross watch it might be a scorpio that's uncomfortable with your growth and change because the message is always for the watcher here um let's get you guys a romance angel it's worth waiting for whatever it is that you're striving towards um moving towards here it's worth the wait so do remember that scorpios okay all the things that you put behind it, all the actions, all the disruptions along the way, all the ups and downs, it was all worth it, okay? You will find at the end of um, this situation that everything happens for a reason. You'll find that hindsight that, you know, all of us do find, and I'm a Scorpio, so I can't wait. Whatever it is that's coming to me here, I'm looking forward to it. Um, and we're getting, it's when we're starting to move quicker now, yeah? I feel like at the beginning of Aquarius season, this happened anyway. Okay, too many jumped out, but we'll see. Two of Cups, the Fool, the Star, and the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody's coming in with a very strong love offer here with the Ace of Pentacles. A soulmate, of course, that um, you're heading towards here very quickly, but it's worth the wait right so whether you know them or not somebody's about to jump somebody's about to ask you will you be my wife do you want to be with me will you be my husband guys don't run away come back come back come back they just might be asking do you want to move in with me no i'm joking come back i'm joking i'm joking this is somebody coming in with commitment okay a soulmate here an opportunity i feel like we're all at this crossroads a moment in time the star where magical things can happen or things that are happening can seem magical um i i feel like it's a moment in time uh, where we get to choose our destiny or maybe choose again so maybe you're choosing again and choosing a new soulmate here and whether it's new or old they was definitely worth the wait here but you at the present or just in the immediate past you was facing these disruptions now we're getting this accelerated motion so it's definitely what you've been waiting for coming towards you and you'll find that it was all worth it in the end here beautiful cards the star the fool 
two of cups and the ace of pentacles i mean wonderful right um we got these healings these wishes um destined meetings here and taking a chance queen of swords here could be an air sign for some as we do have the star representing aquarius but it can be the energy that you're in you may be like i'm not really into accepting any nonsense right now because people have been trying to disrupt my life um so be careful not to be too short and sharp with people um you know not everybody is coming in to cause disruptions people need to learn from you as well um as well as you learning from them right so welcome them in you know until they show you that they're not worth it right don't just presume that everybody's not going to be worth your time um i know time's the most important thing on the planet here you know we can't get time back um, but it doesn't necessarily mean be cold with people on this journey. We are hoping to head towards um, greater understanding of love, not become um, put off by love. So it could be you um, in this energy or somebody with more experience than you that you're about to bump into. And it may be uh their knowledge or their conversation attracts you in first here um i feel like you could be in this full energy scorpio usually does this as well they're like nope 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 i'm queen of swords i don't want anybody then all of a sudden they're off the cliff and in love and they don't even realize it's happening so yeah but it seems like you're on a stable foundation now with the ace of pentacles um so don't worry too much about people trying to cause disruption in your life you've got you right so nobody can really disturb your peace if you've got you so hopefully that's what you've been um learning this time around with the star card with this queen of swords it seems like you've gained some knowledge and ascension three of wands here so your ships are coming in i mean it, it, it does say worth waiting for, so whatever it is, I do believe some of you may be focused more now as we move forward into the second half of the year. You may be more focused on love here coming in. Um, but the Three of Wands, it's coming, right? And it's coming with the Ace of Pentacles. It's coming with a solid offer here. So, yeah, as a Scorpio, I approve this message. <laughs> Eight of Pentacles, somebody you can work with. You may already be working with them. Somebody you can build with, learn with, grow with. And I guess they're here to teach you as well with that Queen of Swords energy. But this overall is showing your amazing growth that you've been through. You should be really proud of yourself. I mean, people wouldn't be trying to drag you down if you wasn't rising up, right? So look at it that way. You know, that's a new perspective there. I feel like you've gained a new perspective with the Queen of Swords energy anyway. But just be proud of yourself, right? A Four of Cups. Uh, you, you don't see this offer coming. Some of you are very bored at the moment, um, discontented with your life, not happy with how things are going. Again, it's like not seeing this romantic... Uh, person coming towards you here it might be just because you're focused on work or your spiritual growth with the queen of swords um you know planting your own foundation here with the ace of pentacles and maybe even switching job this is a huge um windfall of money as well the ace of pentacles but um here you don't see it coming some of you like i say a little bit bored that's the four of cups there so maybe some of you feel it coming with it being cups um, but you're certainly not seeing this offer coming. If you're not tuned into your intuition, you're just not focused on it because the Queen of Swords ain't focused here. The Sun. Uh, is this the old Leo Scorpios? <laughs> Some of you may be getting a proposal from um, a Leo. Um, hope it's a new one. <laughs> you're not seeing this coming it's like look i want to invest in you eight of pentacles here this is somebody who's been practicing how to ask you out or practicing how to ask you to marry them or something like that practicing how to ask 
can we move in together? Um, and it's, things are going to move really quickly now. You're going to get this positive outcome with the sun. I feel like probably before we get to your solar return, so probably before Scorpio season. I know, I know. All seasons are Scorpio seasons. I got you guys. Nine of Cups. Your dreams are coming true here. You get your happily ever after. You finally get your ten cups instead of that five cups. I feel like you've learned a lot through loss through 2019 till now. So a year and a half, I feel like you've learned a lot. Now you finally get what you've been wishing for. The star and the nine of cups. Good luck, guys.